today we would like to present our paper on infrared imaging sensors and instruments on geostationary satellites infrared imaging from satellites is an advanced field of space and science technology the first satellite with thermal imaging capability was by nasa in 1970s ir imaging sensors provide day and night coverage as images are generated by emitted ir radiation from the earth's surface satellite thermal imaging systems exploit medium wavelength ir and long wavelength ir radiation weather prediction global climate studies cyclone monitoring and warning earth resource studies detection of fire forest fires etc are some of its applications A geostationary satellite is placed in the geostationary earth orbit or geosynchronous equatorial orbit which is 35786 kilometers above the earth's equator and follows the direction of earth's rotation. Geostationary imaging sensors can see one third of the earth's sphere only centered with the satellite's location. Such sensors can take images continuously of the same area of earth. Currently USA, Europe, India, Japan and China have deployed operational geostationary satellites for earth imaging mainly for meteorological applications. Now there are two types of IR imaging sensors which are used. The first is the imager or the radiometer. Imagers provide images for the entire earth disk or a part of it. from a geo orbit resolutions are 500 meters to 2.5 kilometers imaging intervals can be 1 minute for a small part of the earth to about 20 minutes for the full earth disk generally 48 or more earth images can be generated and transmitted per day the second type is the sounder which is a multi band ir sensor which provides the information about different layers of the atmosphere The sounder instrument is designed for imaging the earth in several narrow IR bands which are physically related with the emission or absorption of IR radiation of water vapor or gases like CO2 or ozone in the atmosphere. Sounder instruments have a resolution of 4 to 10 km and may provide up to 6 to 8 images per day. Now Coming to the constituents of satellite IR imaging sensors the first is the telescope and the scanning system the telescope configuration is generally cassegrain or rc type with a suitable focal length that covers the earth this and its surrounding space the primary mirror can be scooped to make it lightweight the scanner consists of the scan mirror precision servo motor for horizontal and vertical scan servo control electronics The size of the mirror is similar to that of the telescope. Scan systems also have interlinked electronic systems such that the electronic sampling of the IR detectors is synchronized with the movement of the scan mirror. The second is the pre-detector or optical system. Several IR imaging detectors are required to cover the different IR bands to provide the image features of earth. Following the telescope beam splitters are placed with physical properties that transmit part of the IR radiation required for a specific detector for example gold dichroric are used with different thickness to split 8 to 14 micrometer bands while glass filters are used for 2.5 to 14 micrometer radiation bands The third is the electronic IR detectors and cryogenic coolers. There are two basic types of photon detectors. Majority which are photoconductive and minority carrier type which may be photoconductive and photovoltaic. Most geostationary satellites with IR imaging use cryogenic cooled mercury cadmium telluride detector arrays. It is a semiconductor alloy. in which it is possible to adjust the constituents of the alloy such that tunable electronic band gaps can be created such detectors can be made to respond to ir wavelengths from 1 to 20 micrometer others include indium antimonide peak whose peak sensitivity is of approximately 5 micrometer 
and mercury doped germanium whose peak sensitivity is around 10 micrometer detector arrays are mounted on silicon substrate and electric connection metal tracks are brought out the complete detector is encapsulated in an hermetically sealed ceramic package the ir detectors being photoconductive the performance is governed by planck's radiation law stephen boltzmann black body law and electronic work function law to sense and measure the received radiant energy of ir wavelengths from the object being imaged the detector elements have to be operated at the lowest possible cryogenic temperature to obtain meaningful electronic signal the detector array along with the precision front end electronic low noise amplifiers are mounted on a highly conductive small thermal plate called patch which is cooled to low temperature to keep the components of spacecraft in an appropriate temperature limit a thermal control system is utilized The thermal control system is a cardinal to achieve optimum performance and it ensures efficient equipment operation. The generated heat is transferred by TCS from the spacecraft or space station to the space. Generally two types of coolers are used. The first active cooler which requires a large amount of energy which may be greater than 100 watt and has a limited operational life. but they can operate the patch at even less than 40k they also require special powering and electronic control circuits to operate in the satellite and require special mounting mechanisms active coolers are used in only those satellites wherein the passive detector cooler may not be able to look at deep space during the operations the second is the passive cooler type which are developed to take advantage of the fact that in deep space any object can be cooled by exposing it at the cold space that is away from any large body like the earth or moon thus a part of the satellite body is built with metal that does not require any protection blanket and the patch to be cooled is placed as near to it as possible the cooler is actually a large open metal hood which radiates the heat away from the satellite Hello I am Ashish and I am continuing the presentation further So satellite communication So it involves the uplink station on the ground to transmit the signal to the satellite At the satellite this signal is amplified and its frequency is changed Then the modified signal is again sent back to the downlink sta station on the ground the ground equipment receives it and then processes it further for application so in this way satellite communication takes place one important aspect which is to be kept in mind is that such communication necessitates a clear line of sight so in the process of uh, data data transmission input is collected by the sensor and then it is uh, given to the preprocessing electronic circuitry which has low noise instrumentation amplifiers and then it is fed to the analog to digital converter further using a very complex feedback system infrared background signal which is space data uh, is subtracted as an offset from the total signal then the digitized signal is formatted along with the health data like detector temperatures scan mirror rates voltages and currents in the instrument this formatted digital data is converted into a series stream which is processed further by the data transmission electronics and modulated as per the satellite transmission requirements and thereby finally transmitting it to the earth stations different data processing softwares include terascan from c space geomatica by pci geomatics idrisi by clark laboratories and grass gis which stands for 
geographic resources analysis support system and geographic information system respectively these softwares provide complete solutions for receiving distributing processing and archiving of satellite data next uh, we will look into uh, a case study of sensor detector assemblies of two sensors the first one being visible infrared imaging radiometer suit that is VIIRS by Rathon uh, this is uh, this was used in SOMI National Polar Orbiting Partnership that is NPP for monitoring global weather patterns land surface parameters ocean parameters and other predictive information uh, it is a 22 band opto mechanical radiometer which uses a cross track rotating telescope for optics design allowing it to cover a greater swath VIIRS has 22 imaging and radiometric bands having a spectral range from 0.41 to 12.5 microns. Further, its observation screen is imaged onto three focal planes splitting into VNIR, SWIR, MWIR and TIR energy where VNIR is very near infrared, SWIR is short wave infrared and so on uh, another mission by nasa is landsat 8 which is form which was formerly known as landsat data continuity mission that is ldcm this was uh, used for monitoring environmental changes and aimed at managing reserves and supplies such as water forest and crops for human sustainment. The thermal infrared sensor that is TIRS is mounted on this satellite for collecting image data over an 185 km swath for two narrow spectral thermal bands with 100 meters resolution. Using a focal plane with long arrays of photosensitive detectors, TIRS is a push broom sensor. It is a refractive telescope having four elements and focuses a f by 1.6 beam of thermal radiation onto a cooled focal plane. Three modules with quantum well infrared photo detector that is QWIP arrays are positioned in an alternating fashion with the center line of the focal plane. A two state cryo cooler is also employed to let the QWIP detectors function at the required temperature of 43 Kelvin. The sensor detect assembly for thermal infrared sensor has been shown here for your reference. Uh, designing a sensor which can perform appropriately in space can be intimidating. Myriad parameters have to be taken into consideration and at times the parameters may be interdependent and so have to be made for balancing other criteria as well. Based on our survey, we have made an attempt to list down the building blocks of design criteria such as phenomenology, FPA characteristics, design operation rate performance, etc. For reference, uh, we have provided the block diagram, so please take a closer look. So with this, we would like to conclude our presentation. Thank you so much.